In today's tutorial, we are diving into the exciting world of IoT as we show you how to interface in ESP8266 with the UV Dots platform. With this combination, you will be able to monitor various sensor devices over the internet. This is the getting started video in which I will show you how to send the data to the UB dots and then I will connect the DHT sensor with the ESP8266 and monitor the temperature on the UB dots. So let's get started. The ESP8266 is a versatile and affordable Wi-Fi module that can be used to connect various electronic projects to the internet. On the other hand, UB dot is a powerful platform that provides a user-friendly interface to control and monitor your connected devices remotely. First, we will create account in the UB Dots. So, open the UB Dots website. Then click on the sign up button. We will create a free 30 days trial account. So click on the free platform. Then click on the create STEM account. Enter the required credentials. And click on the sign up button. The account is created. A verification message will be sent to the Gmail account. So open the Gmail account. Click on the email confirmation. Then click on the activate my account. After that, click on the arrow sign. Then click on the go to my dashboard. Then click on the add new dashboard. The demo values will be shown on the dashboard. So delete the table and the gauge as we will create our own gauges. Click on the API credentials. The API key and token will be appeared. Now open the Arduino IDE. Now we will add UB.S library. So click on the sketch, then include library and click on the add zip library. Select the library and click on the open button. I have already installed the UB Dots library. Now click on the file, then click on example and select the UB Dot ESP8266 HTTP TCP UDP and click on the send values HTTP. The example will be opened. Now we will enter the UB Dots token. So open the UB Dots web. Click on the API credentials and copy the token. Then paste the token in the code. Enter 
द वाई फाई यूजर नेम एंड पासवर्ड वी विल सेंड थ्री रेंडम वैल्यूज टू द यू बी डॉट्स क्लिक ऑन द टूल्स एंड सेलेक्ट द ई एस पी एट टू डबल सिक्स बोर्ड then select the required port and upload the code to the node mcu after uploading the code to the node mcu open the ub dots web click on the devices and select the devices open the device now you can see three different random values on the dashboard in the code you can see we are sending three random values value 1 value 2 and value 3 now we will interface dht sensor with the esp8266 and send the data to the ub dots so we will require the following components esp8266 board dht sensor jumper wires and breadboard connect the vcc pin of the dht11 sensor with 3.3 volt pin of the node mcu connect the out pin of the dht11 sensor with d3 pin of the node mcu connect the ground pin of the dht11 sensor with ground pin of the node mcu now we will make several changes in the code which we have uploaded install the dht library click on the sketch then click on include library and click on the manage libraries wait for few seconds it will takes time depending upon on your internet speed then search for the dht and install the library I have already installed the library. After installing the library, we have read the DHT temperature and humidity and sent these value to the UB dots. Upload the code to the node MCU. Now open the UB dots web. And you can see the temperature and humidity values. Now we will add widgets to display the temperature and humidity. So click on the data and then click on the dashboards. Click on the add new widget. Different widget will be appeared. Click 
on the thermometer then click on the add variable select the device and click on the temperature then click on the save button adjust the size of the widget then again click on the add button and select the gauge then click on the add variable select the device and click on the humidity click on the save button adjust the size of the gauge you can see the temperature changes on when we heat up the dht sensor So that's all for now. I hope you liked this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more exciting projects and tutorials. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.